monster producer is a legendary creature who combines multiple skill sets to dominate their market. Are you ready to dominate? All right, folks. Good, good afternoon. Good evening. Coach Michael Burt. I hope you're doing great. I am at the uh, lodge in outside of Nashville, Tennessee. If you've never been to my beautiful 8,000 square foot lodge, it's the most beautiful, relaxing place. I think one of the most beautiful places in the world it sits on 23 acres. And uh, we actually, my team works from here one day a week, kind of gets us out of our rhythm and out of uh, downtown Nashville to more creative space. So we've been here all day today coaching people, and I'm excited about being with you tonight to really talk about something that I think is a significant game changer. If you told me that you had a desire to become a person of interest in the world and you want to attract business to you versus chase business, then I would tell you we have to find what makes you unique in the world. We have to package what makes you unique and we have to sell or distribute what makes you unique. Okay. We got to find it. We got to package it and we got to sell it. We got to share it with other people. Most people uh, that I coach, number one, do not know what they have. They certainly don't know how to package it. And we're going to define packaging tonight as anything the consumer can feel, touch, taste, see. Packaging is how you present an idea to another person. Then there is a distribution. How do we market it? Right? This is really what I cover in my person of interest boot camp that's coming up on the 21st and 22nd is I spend a whole day helping you figure out what you have. That's the organic side of being a person of interest. Then I spend the whole second day teaching you how to market what you have. Now, I want you to remember, I was a high school basketball coach. I made $24,700 a year. <laughs> Richard Randall, you follow me here? I, was, I, I worked 80 hours a week, every week, but I had something very special. I knew how to package I knew how to deconstruct ideas. I knew how to break things down. And, and it was when I went from, from being a high school basketball coach to going, man, I'm going to write books and I'm going to speak and I'm going to do podcasts and I'm going to do webinars and I'm going to do coaching assignments and I'm going to do licensing deals and I'm going to create greatness factories. And I'm going to write, I'm going to take what I know and I'm going to begin to just package this up and man, I'm going to market it like crazy. And it was then that I went from $24,000 a year to where I am today, which is a lot different because I learned how to package and sell and how to package and market. So some of you have something really valuable, but you don't know what it is. You don't really know what makes you unique in the world. There are 7 billion people on planet earth. Here's the beauty. No two people are the same. No two people have the same past. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? There's not two people on planet Earth that have the exact same experiences. So tonight in this webinar, I'm going to go through a little formula that I use to, to help you find, package, and sell your special. This is part of becoming a person of interest. When you become a person of interest, here's the good news. People come to you. <laughs> You're not chasing people. People are chasing you. People want to do business with you. People are, right? And that is a, a very coveted position to be in because now you are the buyer versus the seller instead of having to chase people down and try to convince them man your phone is ringing and your schedule is booked and your calendar is full and you get to pick and choose who you work with and who you don't right like like if i look at my schedule i am completely booked for every weekend the rest of this year where i'm speaking coaching training traveling like, like if you call me today and said, I want to do something with you, coach, it would have to be 2022 before I even have any open dates to do anything. Now, when I first started, every weekend I had was available. <laughs> okay. So over, over the past 13 years, what I've really worked hard to do is figure out what makes me unique in the world and how do I package and sell this in such a way that my demand is high. 
right? I have a high demand and, and, and I do what I want, when I want with who I want. And that is a good place to be. So I'm going to ask you three questions to start off. Number one, have you ever been through something that you believe would be helpful to other people as they went through it? Okay. Last night on our coaching call with the health coaches, I, I, I heard a, a, lady, a, a lady say, man, I've been through a lot of, a lot of breakdowns. And I said, Hey, breakdowns create breakthroughs. Okay. Everybody's gone through a breakdown. If you could, if you could help me go through my breakdown because of your breakdown, that's valuable to me. Okay. So number one question is you have, has everybody on here been through something that they know if you just packaged how you got out of it would be valuable to other people. And that answer is what? Of course it is. I've gone through depression. Uh, I've been uh, uh, sued. I have been through breakdowns. I have been through breakthroughs. Uh, I have uh, uh, coached kids for 10 years and you've never done anything till you've seen how, how mean mamas and daddies can be when you coach kids. <laughs> Every single week, somebody was doing something crazy. I have made millions of dollars. I've lost millions of dollars. I have written books. I have been through good, bad, and different. I, like, I've been through everything. There's probably nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. Now, here's my point. Uh, that's valuable. All of it is valuable. Does everybody see that? Most coaches tell you don't live in the past. I'm actually going to tell you something different. I want you to go back to your past and find all the gold, all the raw material, all of the good stuff, because I'm going to make a statement. Your past helps me build my future. I'm really paying you for your past because your past helps me build my future. Your past mistakes helps me avoid mistakes. Your past breakthroughs helps me to build a breakthrough. Your past breakdowns help me avoid breakdowns, right? Okay. Question number two. Do you believe that your past can help other people build their bigger future? Do you believe your past can help other people build their future? Okay, what if I got on here tonight and said, man, uh, I'm going to be coaching everybody. Uh, when I was a basketball coach, I was the, I was the, I, lose the I, I lost more games than anybody in the world, right? But I'm going to teach you how to win tonight. <laughs> See, my past, you're paying for my past. Of knowing how to win, all right? So number two is, do you believe your past can be valuable to other people? And you're going to say, of course. I've gone through certain things in my life that I know would be valuable for people, okay? Question number three, have you ever had a desire to share your message with a bigger audience? <clears throat> and if the answer to those three questions is yes, yes, and yes, then that's what tonight's about. How do you package your past? How do you sell your past? How do you market your past? Okay. So what does this mean? Your past helps me build my future. Your experiences, your life, your learnings helps me build my future. Number two, your past is the raw material to build something magical. Number three, your past is where all the good stuff is, man. It's where all the good stuff is. Now, let me tell you why. When I was 25 years old, I went through a deep depression. I uh, went through a terrible breakup where I thought I was going to get married. I bought an engagement ring. We broke up before I gave her the engagement ring. I went through six months of depression. I couldn't eat, couldn't sleep, couldn't get out of bed in the morning. This was while I was a head coach. So I had to uh, pretend that I was happy, pretend that I was motivated, and I wasn't. I lost every bit of my confidence. Now, you say, why is that important? Do you know uh, that from that, uh, me losing my confidence, I began to study confidence at a very high level. And I, br I broke confidence down in a book I wrote called Swag, How to Build, Maintain, and Protect Your Greatest Asset. And I have become one of the foremost leaders in the world on confidence as a science at, because of the breakdown I had at 25 years old. Everybody see that? That's me using my past to help other people. So I said, man, I lost every bit of my confidence. I, but I study confidence. Now I have a lot of confidence and I want to show you how you can build confidence. Now you say, well, how did I package that? I packaged it into a book called swag. I packaged it into a one day event on confidence. I packaged it into webinars. 
I package it into coaching agreements. Like, like I packaged it into coaching for kids. Like I took that concept and I said, you know what? This is big. Everybody struggles with confidence. How do I take my experiences, package it up and sell it? And I began to, it started with a book, then an audible. You could get that book on, on audible, by the way, you could, right? So, so here's the deal. Is that me packaging my past? Yes or no? Everybody see that? Okay. Now, when you think about special, <clears throat> I'm going to ask you a, a simple question. When you start looking at your past, what is it about your past, right? That you feel like has given you a competitive advantage. What do you think has made you unique in the world? Okay. And I'm going to, I'm going to give an example. I was raised by a single mom. She had me when she was 16 years old. She treated me like I was an adult from the time I was born, I think, because it's just me and her. She's a kid and I'm a kid. She used to take me down to the local baseball field where I was exposed to great coaches, right? I, I fell in love with coaching. I knew I wanted to be a coach. At 15 years old, I started coaching. At 18 years old, I was a head coach. At 21, I was the youngest head coach in Tennessee. At 25, I was already writing books. Now, why am I telling you this? Because all of that is what makes me unique. My mom instilled a very high prey drive in me because she was tough. And we don't whine, we don't complain, we don't make excuses. Then I was mentored by Dr. Stephen Covey at 18 years old. And that gave me a framework to use. Then at 25, I started writing books. And you say, well, why is that important? Because each step of the way, I am, I am figuring things out that help me to separate myself from other people. Help give me an advantage in the world. So I want you to take a minute right now. And I want you to think. When you look back in your past, what about your past do you feel like has given you a tremendous advantage in the world? Could be the way you were raised, could be who you were exposed to, could be the mentors you've had, could be your education, right? I want you to think about what has given you an advantage, okay? Who did you mentor under, right? Who was you an apprentice for? Who, who did you study under? What have you been exposed to, right? What do you think about your past? And it may have been, man, I had a tough past. I struggled most of my life. I learned how to, how to deal with problems. I learned how to do this. I learned how to do this. What about your past do you feel like gives you an advantage? Okay, I want you to really think about this. Okay. And I want you to write this cycle down. You've either been through something, learned something, or learned under somebody. You've either been through something, you learned something big, or you learned under somebody. Now, I read a fascinating, I heard a fascinating stat today. I was sharing with Eric White on my team, and I was telling Tony Barnes this, because Tony Barnes on my team wants to be a coach, and he's kind of serving as my number two right now. And uh, there's a stat that says if you start a business today and you've never been in that business, that 88% of the time, 88% of people fail in the first three years in a business that they've never been associated with. If you work under someone that is successful in a business and you study under a successful person in the same business that you want to be in, there's an 80% chance that you'll be successful. Does everybody, everybody hear that? Okay, so Tony wants to be a coach. He could go out there and try to start his own coaching business if that's what he wants to do. But if he's never been a coach, there's an 88% chance he's going to fail. If he works under a successful coach for one to three years and is an apprentice under a person who's done it at a high level, he's got an 80% chance he can be successful. Everybody see the power of learning under somebody right now? Yes or no? This is why studying and sitting at the foot of somebody that knows what they're doing is so valuable because you're learning how to do what you want to do. Okay, so who have you learned under? I studied under Covey, and Covey taught the whole person theory. How do you tap into the body, the mind, the heart, and the spirit of a person? That one thing, when I became a high school basketball coach, separated me from everybody, because there wasn't a high school coach in America that understood how to tap into the whole person. They taught skill. I taught whole person. 
they would even come to me, Ed and Lucy, and say, what are you doing with those kids? And I was like, man, I'm using this whole person theory. theory. And they would look at me like I flew in from another planet. <laughs> They'd be like, what are, you, what are you talking about? Whole person theory, body, mind, heart, and spirit. I'm like, that is why you're asking me why I'm kicking your butt. That's why I'm kicking your butt. Because I know something you don't know. See, I understood the whole person theory because of who I studied under. And I studied under Covey for seven years. Everybody see that? So that gave me what, Sarah? An advantage against my peers. Okay? See, what I'm looking for is an advantage. And I think who's coaching you can give you an advantage. Okay? So I want you to write this cycle down. First, you have some big revelation. Revelation is some sudden dramatic moment. My revelation started at 15. When I started coaching, I'm like, this is what I want to do forever. This is what I was meant to do. Revelation, some sudden dramatic moment. Because of my revelation, I now have a conviction. And the conviction is a deep-seated belief and passion and intensity towards something. That's a prey drive, right? Because of my conviction, I am now willing to do whatever it takes to be successful in this area. I'm willing to take an action, right, Joshua? Okay, so here's the deal. I got to find what makes me unique. Where does my uniqueness come from? My past, my skills, my mentoring, who I learned under, what I've been through. Everybody, everybody, everybody with me? I'm, I'm coaching the number one door-to-door -door salesman in the world. And uh, he was an alcoholic for a period of his life. And he went to Alcoholics Anonymous. And they have a concept in Alcoholics Anonymous called no matter what. No matter what happens to you, you don't take a drink. No matter how bad your day is, you don't take a drink. No matter, no matter, no matter what, you don't take a drink of alcohol. Now, guess what I've got him doing now? He's writing a book right now called No Matter What. Everybody see that? Except he sells solar. So it's not W-H-A-T. It's W-A-T-T. No matter what. He's the number one solar salesman in the world. He didn't even think about writing a book until he met me. He didn't even think about uh, he didn't even think about running a coaching program until he met me. He didn't even think about monetizing his past. He didn't think about the Alcoholics Anonymous piece until he met me. And I'm like, no, no, no. What did they teach you in Alcoholics Anonymous? He said, man, they taught us a concept called No Matter What. And I'm like, that's the title of your book. No matter what, man. No matter what. Now, 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 it, what is he doing now? He is taking his past, finding what makes him unique. And he is now packaging that past. He is packaging it into a book, a coaching program, an online course. And he is now teaching other people how to, how to develop this mindset of no matter what. There's certain things I do every day. Now, you say, how did he turn it into a sales book? Is because he said, for me to be the number one person in the world, there's certain habits I have. And I do these things no matter what. Every day I do them no matter what. See how he's taken his past, Alcoholics Anonymous, what he learned. He's been sober for 37 years, I think. He's taken his past and he's packaging it up. Packaging is, is something the consumer can feel, touch, taste, and see. I'm writing a book on it. I'm doing a one-day program on it. I'm doing an online course on it. Now I'm doing speaking engagements about it. Now he is not only making money selling solar, he is now making money selling solar and coaching. Does everybody understand where I'm going with this? Okay, isn't that a cool concept no matter what? Yeah, it's a very cool concept, okay? Now, I want you to, to, how many of you feel like you feel, you found what made you special? You found what makes you unique? How many people figure out, think they figured that out? Okay. It always comes from your past. It always comes from your past that makes you unique. Always. Because your past is unique. Okay. Your past is what makes you who you are today. Okay. Now, let's talk about packaging. How many of you could see yourself writing a book at some point? Raise your hand. Okay, now I have a very simple philosophy. If life is worth living, it is worth writing down. If you pin me down today, Molly Fry, and you said, out of everything you've done in the last 20 years, what has been the most pivotal thing that you've done? 
I would tell you writing my first book. Because when I wrote that first book, it gave me a message. And the message got me in front of people. And the people hired me to be their coach. This is why I'm always saying you don't need more money, you need more people. Well, what gets you in front of people? A, a message. What gets you, what gets you, what gets you media? What gets you what gets you uh Instagram followers? What gets you YouTube subscribers? What gets you is a message, man. If you don't have a message, you don't get in front of any people. So, so packaging is taking your special and putting it into something I can absorb. I can, I can get it from you. I can consume it from you. Okay. Many of you are, are health coaches on here and you're selling insurance and you're selling different things. This is real simple guys. If you're, if you're an Optavia coach, d d d what did Dr. A do? He wrote a book called habits of health. He created a system. He's, he's sharing his system with you. You're buying the system. Okay? So, so, so here's my point. What if I saw you today and really liked you and I watched you on Facebook, what could I buy from you today? See, I see this all the time. People say, people say, man, I, I really like that person. They're really cool. I follow them on Instagram. I follow them on Facebook. If I wanted to buy something from you today, what could I buy? Do you have, do you have something I could purchase? Do you have a one day event? I could spend, uh, I'm about to spend uh, two days starting tomorrow with, uh, you know, X number of people that are coming to Nashville to my boot camp. People that are going to be online, like, like they had to be able to buy something. What are they buying? They're actually buying a methodology that I've created. They're buying a framework. They're buying a structure. They're buying a system. So I see a lot of people uh, I'm, I'm, that, that I, I really like what they, what they do. I like their personality. I like their energy. I like their story. But it's like, what do you have for me to participate in? What could I go and purchase today? What could I take advantage of that you have? Do you have a book? Do you have a program? Do you have a course? Do you have some way for me to learn? Okay, so I want to use a word here called codifying. And this is a very valuable tool for every person on here. Codifying is where you write down what your process for doing something. And you put that into something I could absorb. Like this webinar tonight, we will take this and we will put it on my YouTube channel. And I will call it how to find, package, and sell your special. Now, you say, why is that important? Uh, we've had 550,000 downloads on my YouTube channel. That's 550,000 people, folks. Now, here's the deal. If I didn't do the webinar, I don't have anything to put on. So I'm going to put it on YouTube. Then I'm going to have my videographer chop it up into little one-minute videos. And then I'll put it on TikTok and Instagram and LinkedIn and Facebook. And I'll say, take this 45 minute coaching session and extract out the best, the best five parts of it and put it into one minute videos I can share. And I'm just pumping this stuff out like crazy, right? 45 minutes. Now, now here's the deal. And I'm pumping on Instagram and YouTube and LinkedIn and Facebook and TikTok and anything I can push it. I'm pushing it to my database. Now, what is that? That's packaging. Packaging is anything the consumer can feel, touch, taste, or see. Okay? So first, you got to have, what do I have? Well, I got a unique mindset. I got a unique methodology. I got a unique skill set. Okay? How do you give it to other people? How do you distribute it to other people? How do you distribute your knowledge, your skill, your desire, your confidence? How do you give it to people? Well, I give it to people through webinars coaching programs, one day events, two day events, boot camps. Everybody see where I'm going with this. Okay. Now, Tony, can, are you in a position you can talk, Tony Barnes? We could unmute yourself. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there you go. Now, based on what I've told you, Tony has a book. Okay. Tony's on my team and he's got a book. Where, where are you already missing based on what I'm saying here? Uh, I definitely need more packaging. Um, I need the webinars. I definitely need um, some smaller boot camps, some one days to, to really just start getting out there and to utilize the, the information the same way you just said, to chop it up, to put it on the YouTube channel and, and, and a website to just really 
get it to where the audience can, can easily digest. That's right. Now, here's what I'm saying. If he's got a concept he wants to share with the marketplace, he needs to be sharing that and dripping that over and over and over and over and over and over and everywhere he can, everywhere he can, everywhere he can put it, he needs to be putting it. That is packaging. Okay. Now, are there any questions on the packaging piece? Because I really want you thinking about this. This is really what I cover in person of interest, the boot camp POI. What do you have? Spend I spend a whole day on what do you have? Let's get clear on your skill set. Day two is how do you distribute it? How do you market it? How do you position it? How do you brand it? How do you take it to the next level? How do you become known? How do you become famous? Okay. All right. Now let's talk about distribution. And this is one thing I'm really noticing with a lot of people. Um and I was coaching a young guy today. It's in my 25K level. And he wants to start a coaching business. And he said, man, I want to do coaching. And I want to do a one day, I want to do what you do. One day event. And I said, well, do you have a database of people? He said, no. I said, well, who are you going to market it to? I'm just going to market it to people out in the world. Okay. I said, what you have to start doing to distribute a message is you have to start building a database of people. You have to start building a database of uh, people that are getting a frequency with you and a follow-up from you and information from you. If not, you're going to be just selling to random strangers. You know how hard it is to sell things to random strangers, folks? Okay? So you need a distribution. Now, uh, different people and different things, but I want you to think about all of the people that are, let's just use the health coaches, for example. How many of you saw me speak in Scottsdale, Arizona? All right, now, from Scottsdale, what did we do? We made an offer and we said, you can be coached by me for four weeks in this mentoring program, okay? And it's, we're gonna cover these four things, okay? We got 800, I think maybe over a thousand coaches in that. I think there was a thousand and 20 coaches that took action on that at $97. Does everybody see that? Okay, 97 bucks, that's it. Now, let me ask you a question, Richard, how much money is that? Thousand people at $97. Uh, 99000 dollars That's right. Not, let's, let's, just right. Round, let's just round up and call it a hundred thousand. Now, here's my point. Is, is that monetization of a concept? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, that's a hundred thousand dollars to coach people for four weeks, folks. Okay, now here's what I want you to, what if I didn't have a message? What if I didn't have a formula? What if I didn't know what I was talking about? What if I didn't distribute it? Then we turned around and said, you know what? It's going well. Eric convinced me to do four more weeks. He's like, hey, let's do four more weeks. And we had another 100, 100 people take four more weeks. Then we have some people getting our Navy SEAL program, which is 7,500 bucks. Then we have some people come to boot camps. Here's what I'm telling you. Distribution of a message is... Once you have a message, it's how do I get this message out? How do I do webinars on it and, and give people like, like you don't need more money. You need more people. So <clears throat> this, this becomes this distribution of a message. But if you don't have a message, if you don't have a formula, if you don't have it packaged, how in the world can you share with it? Now, here's an example. Uh, I don't know if my, my genie rocket team is on here. But we've done almost $700,000 through funnels. Those are click funnels through Genie Rocket click funnels uh, in the last seven, eight, nine months. Okay. And I keep telling Kara, there's Kara, just show people, take a snapshot. And Kara, you can post it in here if you want to, of how much money we've made through these click funnels. And just ask people, would you like to make that much money? And they're going to say, what? Pat, what are they going to say? <laughs> they're going to say, of course I would. And here's what I'm going to say. You can't make $700,000 through a click funnel if you don't have a click funnel. <laughs> Everybody with me? Scotty Moore, you follow me? You can't sell a book if you don't have a book. You can't, you can't sign me up for your coaching program if you don't have a coaching program. So what I see with people, it's like you got a lot of good ideas. Okay. All right. There's Kara just posted the number. I've done $776,400 in the last nine months through click funnels. Is that a good number or a good number? Yes or no? Brett Carey, would you take that number? Okay, I'd take, let me tell you what that means. That means people went to a page and bought something for me. A book, a website, a, a program, 
a coaching program, a boot camp, folks. Okay. Now here's the deal. Here's what. So I tell people, uh, you got a lot of good ideas, but I can't figure out what I can take advantage of with you. Like, what do you want? What action do you want me to take? Do you want me to sign up for something you have? Do you want me to come to see you in person? Do you right? Like, help me to understand what you want me to do, because there's nothing for me to buy. Okay. How many of you don't have anything for me to purchase right now? Raise your hand. Okay. How many of you think you got a distribution problem? Okay. So distribution is what? So let's start with some simple, simple things. All right. So I'm going to show, share my screen with you here for just a second. Uh, this is when you're thinking about distribution, I want you to think of it like this. I'm going to go to my Facebook and I want to show you exactly what I mean by this. So I come up with a message. I'm going to get real tactical here for you. I come up with the message. Here's the message, how to find package and sell your special. That's a message. Everybody see that? I say, I'm going to give that message at five o'clock on Wednesday, April 7th. I create a graphic. Okay. I did not spend $1 on this, Patty Larson, not $1. I go to my faith, my own Facebook page and I tell a story. This is a story right here. Life is hard enough. It's even harder when you don't know what you got. You get stuck, bored, complacent in a rut. Five o'clock today, boom, I'm doing this. Now, what's the beauty of this? Then I'm going to drive them to this page right here. This is a Zoom link. Notice what I'm doing right here, Jeremy Chandler. I'm collecting their data. Everybody see that? Now, David, if you signed up for person of interest or how to find package and sell your special, guess what? Guess what I now know about you? What do, I, what do I know you're interested in? I know you're interested in being a person of interest. Yes or no? Okay. Now, what could I call you? Now I got your information. Okay. And what could I do now, David? Let me just show you. A little genie rocket. Exactly right. See, here's what the deal is, David. I could pick up this phone right here and call you and say, hey, David, I noticed you registered for my webinar. Uh, tell me a little bit about what's going on in your life and what you're trying to do. Well, I'm trying to be a person of interest. Okay, great. Did you know that I got a course on person of interest? I've got a boot camp on person of interest and I got a book on person of interest. Okay. Now in that boot camp, here's what I'm going to be teaching in a couple of weeks. And I got a virtual option or in-person option. David, now which one would you like to take? Would you like to come to the lodge with me and see my eyeballs face to face? Or would you like to take the virtual option? Oh, I'd like to take that virtual option. Okay, great. What if David says, well, I don't have the money for, for to come in person or to get that. Here's what I could say. Now, this is part of packaging that I'm trying to teach you. Okay. Packaging is taking a concept and sharing it with the world in multiple ways to find something they can take action on. So here's my site. If you went to my store, I want you to notice something right here. What does that say right there? Person of interest is what? It's free. When it says, get this book, you can't do this if you don't have a book. It takes you to a funnel. Notice what it does first. It captures all of your information. Everybody see that? Okay. Then when it captures your information, then it sends you to the next page to purchase it. Okay. Shipping is $9.95. Now, if you like person of interest, the book, then we have a course on person of interest. Okay. And the course on person of interest teaches you how to be a person of interest. Everybody see that? All right. This is packaging, folks. This is a funnel right here. Okay. And that course, if you want to be a person of interest, is $397. Then we're not finished. Here's the good news. Then we've got an event called person of interest. So if you want to come be in, in the room with me and learn how to be a person of interest, you go to that. This is a funnel. Everybody see that? Now, what I'm trying to show you is this is packaging. See videos. Yes, I'm ready to become a star. Boom. Secure your spot. Now, 
what if I just had a concept? Uh, oh, wait before you leave. <laughs> See, <laughs> this is so cool, man. See, before you leave and don't go, yes, I want in on that virtual option. Let me see what happens then. Okay, come on, take me to something. Virtual option, take me something. Okay. All right, I don't see it taking me to anything, Kara. All right, now, here's, here's my thing. This is packaging, okay? And the reason I'm showing you this is because this is the part that most people are missing. Now, does everybody see how we're monetizing that idea in multiple ways? We got a book. And the book's free. Well, it ain't free. It's $9.99 because we're shipping it to you. Jason Boone, you follow me? Then if you get the book, it's like, would you like to go through the course? I got a course. Well, if you like the course, would you like to come in person and learn the concept? Yes, I would. Okay, good. Right? Then there's three ways that you can take advantage of person of interest. Three monetizable ways that you can take advantage of it. Okay? Now, I want to stop right there and ask a very simple question. And I want you to type in. How many of you are struggling with finding what you have that's unique? How many of you are struggling with packaging what you have? How many of you are struggling with marketing what you have? Okay, just type in so I can see what we're working with here. See what we're struggling with. Okay. All right. Yes, sir. All three. Thank you. Finding what I have. Packaging. Who is struggling to find? There you go. Packaging and marketing. Marketing. Okay. Finding. Okay, good. All three. All right, good. See, all progress starts by telling the truth. Okay, I'm fine-tuning all three. Good. Now, this is why we're doing these things, guys, because this is what I see as a coach every day. I see people struggle in these areas. You don't know what you have. You don't know how to package it. You don't know how to market it. Okay? This is not business. This is show business. Everybody understand? You got to get out of your brain. It don't matter. Let me, let me say this to you, and somebody said this to me. They said to me, uh, it doesn't matter how good of a coach you are if nobody knows it, Coach Burke. Until you learn how to market, and here's what they say, Ed, you got to understand this is not business. This is show business. Okay? Until you learn how to market and sell your special, you're always going to be a great coach that nobody knows. Everybody hear that? So guess what I had to learn? I'm like, daggummit. I've got to become a great marketer. I, I have to learn this marketing game. I have to learn how to package this stuff. And so I started studying it. I started understanding brain science. I hired coaches to help me. We created a marketing company called Genie Rocket that helps people do this. And I'm like, okay, here's what I need. I need to take this concept and make money with this six different ways. Okay. And here's how I'm going to do it. And let's put it on all these different things, right? And then let's email people. And let's put it on Instagram and let's put it on Facebook and let's put it on LinkedIn and let's build a machine that is just pumping this stuff out. And I'm the little flying monkey that's flying around getting people excited. Everybody with me? And then when I get them excited, they're like, yes, let's go do this. That's my job is to market and promote it like crazy. Okay. Now, I don't want to overwhelm anybody because I know this seems like a lot of stuff. And you're probably looking at this like, oh my gosh, like this is crazy. Here's the deal. I want to bring it down to the, to the essence of this. Until you know what you have, till you know what your special is, you can't package it and you can't market it. So the step one of this webinar is to find what makes you unique. You got to figure this out. I figured out in the early days, I called myself a coachypreneur. <laughs> I was a cross between a coach and an entrepreneur. Then I go speaking. People couldn't pronounce it. They'd be like, what, what is this? A coachypreneur? Like, what are you saying? I, I'm like, I'm half coach, half entrepreneur. I'm a coachypreneur, man. And they would be like, they messed it up when I'd speak. And so I'm like, I got to get rid of that. Then I started calling myself the super coach, which is a, blend, a unique blend of a former basketball coach and an entrepreneur. I'm not a coach. I'm a super coach. So I had, to, I'm trying to figure out how do I package this? How do I sell this? Everybody see that? What do you have that's unique? Okay, that's number one. Step two, and I want you guys just to start with one thing. If you were going to package this into something, what would it be? Would it be a methodology? Would it be a system? Would it be a book? Would it be a webinar? Which strategy 
would you like to use to package what it is you have? Okay. I started at 25 years old with a simple book, guys. I sat down and wrote a book. Okay. And if you're inter interested in writing a book, we have a publishing division that can help you write that book. We're doing that for about uh, 50 people, uh, excuse me, about 30 people right now in our coaching program. If you're interested in that, email eric at coachbert.com and he can help set that up a strategy session. Okay. If you're interested in Genie Rocket, you need to email Kara at coachbert.com. Okay. And just do a strategy session on how to use the CRM system, how to touch people. Okay. So the second step is how to package it, package it in a book, package it in a program, package it in a booklet, package it into something that I can absorb. Okay. Third step is, is how are you going to market and to whom are you going to market this concept to? Okay. Who are you trying to market to? Okay. And, and what's your mechanism? I'm using everything, LinkedIn, Facebook, everything I can mention, everything I can use. Okay. And I'm distributing a message, chopping the message up one minute, two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 12 minutes. Everything I do, we record. And then we take that recording and we use it. We use it over and over and over and over. We use it in the sales cycle. We use it. Okay. Now, what I'm teaching you tonight is a complicated concept. It's not easy. Okay. I've spent 20 years of my life studying this. And, and so this is a lot about what we cover at person of interest. Person of interest is coming up April 21st and 22nd. It is two days and it is a boot camp. It is at my lodge here in Tennessee. Okay. If you want to come in person and spend two days with me, day one is about, is very organic. What do you have? And I, I put you through all these exercises to figure out what it is you've got. Day two is all about how do you become famous? How do you become known? How do you become a big time player? How do you be right? How do you market? Now we're doing that boot camp virtually and in person. So you can go through it virtually. So Eric, if you want to type in the link, there's the link for person of interest. If you guys want to come to this, I'll close and then I'll take some questions. If you ask me today, uh, Coach, what does your top people do? I would tell you that anybody earning over 500000 in personal income has done one thing. They have taken person of interest and taken it to a, another level. So if, I, if you said to me, who are the top people you coach? They're earning over half a million and above. Here's what I would tell you. They have all gone through person of interest. They have all used person of interest to become known and famous. They're all writing books. They're all using CRMs like Jenny Rocket, and they're all uh, they're all trying to be famous for something. They're trying to be known for something. Okay, I have made up my mind that I want to be known as the leading authority on activating prey drive in the world. That is my person of interest strategy. Okay, I picked something. I picked two words that nobody uses in those categories. I trademark that. So when you associate prey drive with motivation in humans, I'm the only person on planet earth who has the rights to use that. Does that make sense? So, so what I did is I took a unique concept and I said, this is what I'm going to be known for. The leading authority in the world on this one concept. And I'm going to write a book on it. I'm going to do a podcast about it. I'm going to do boot camps on it. And I'm going to be the expert on this one concept. That is my person of interest play. Okay, so you have to decide what are you going to be known for? What are you going to be famous for? Okay, now I really encourage you guys, if you're here tonight, you're thinking, man, this concept could change my life. It could. It could change your financial future forever if you get it right. Okay, so if you're interested in that, I want to encourage you, look at this boot camp. Look at the boot camp person of interest and spend two days with me. And it'll change the game for you, man. I am telling you, it'll change. It changed my life. Writing the book changed my life. And I guarantee it'll change your life. Okay. So Eric can help you there. Eric can help you on the book. If you want to do a strategy session, Kara can help you on Jenny Rocket, uh, of which I'm using to touch 20,000 people. My reach right now is about 400,000 people a week. Uh, and, and pretty soon, hopefully it's going to be about a million four a week. 
Okay. So to me, you don't need more money. You need more people. The people have the money. Okay. So you got to get in front of more people. So if you're interested in doing person of interest or any of these things, Eric White can help you. Eric at coachbert.com. There's the link to show you what we're covering. Um, and the book is free. It's 995 if you want to get the book for the shipping and handling. Now, who's got a question for me on any three of these components, finding, packaging, or selling? Okay. If you want to raise your hand, I can take any questions. Hey, Coach. This is Scotty. Hey, Scotty. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad you're a person of interest. I wish I would have gotten to know you uh, earlier, but I'm grateful for uh, who you are and your teachings. I, I maybe missed it, but you were talking about revelation, conviction, one, two. I don't know if I got that order. I thought there were three. Maybe they're not. Action, action is the third step. Action. Yeah. Action. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. To find your special, you, you see, I had a big revelation at six years old, Scotty, when my single mom would drop me off at the baseball field. I had a huge revelation that everybody needs a coach in life. Like that is really when I had that revelation. At 15 years old, when I started coaching, I knew I was supposed to coach for the rest of my life. That was a huge conviction. So now I'm 44. Look at how much conviction I have about coaching. I mean, it's basically my whole life. I've devoted my whole life to this one thing. So that's how much conviction that I have. So uh, revelation, conviction, action. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to help people, man, whether it's convenient or not convenient to me. Okay, great question. Other questions? I have a question. Go ahead, Giuseppe. Um, so I have skill sets in lots of different areas, but I had to put all that aside to really focus and see movement on my health coaching. Yep. Um, thinking about my special, I have lots of different things I could maybe pull in. Uh, also, the things that I've done in the past, you know, I've lost a son. I've been diagnosed with a crazy disease. I mean, I've, and I've gotten through all that. And hmm. My question is, is when do you recommend is a good time to start, you know, when I can feel comfortable saying I'm, I've been focused a while and I'm seeing a lot of good progress. Now I can start bringing some of those things in or do I not? And I just look at it this differently. Is, this is a, this is a big mistake. A lot of people make, and I don't think you have to wait at all. I, I think that what you've already been through in life, is plenty of raw material to write the book. See, a lot of people say, well, you gotta be real successful to write a book. And I don't agree with that. I wrote a book at 25 years old and I wasn't that successful, but it started my process of becoming a person of interest, right? In comparison to my peers, I had been doing that for 10 years, man. I, I was way ahead of my other people at 25. So, you know, I heard a guy that say the other day, man, you don't need to write a book until you, I hear people say that all the time. Well, I'm not successful enough to write a book. Like until I do something really big, it's when I'm going to write a book. And I'm like, man, come on. Like, like, like you don't have to wait till you're wildly successful and you're Jeff Bezos and running Amazon to write a book. I mean, you know, do you have something valuable that other people would benefit from? Even if it's one person, if you help one person, is it worth it to you? If you help one, right? Like, so to my, my belief is, I didn't have a lot to say at 25 years old, but I said it and it got me in front of people and it was the best thing I did writing that book. So I would tell you what you've already been through is plenty to help other people. Now, what you got to do is package it, Giuseppe, and put it into something that could help me. Like how, how does that help me? Is there, is there, can I read something that you've written? Can I come to something where you teach me a methodology? Do you have a methodology for bouncing back from adversity? Like that's where it becomes valuable is when you codify it. Codification is when you package it into a concept, a, a construct that I can get, I can purchase it, I can buy it, I can absorb it. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Right now I use it in my um, testimony portion of the sales process. So after I tell them about it or ask them a bunch of questions, I say, can I share my story? So I talk about the diagnosis and the music and the kids and um but i i do have a desire to codify that a bit more so sorry i got kids in the background so i'm just i'm just taking in i'm just kind of absorbing what you're saying yeah. i just yeah. started this program with you and i'm just kind of soaking it all in and just figuring out what's next you know now you giuseppe's in my coaching program monster producer do you see how i package and deliver content to large numbers of people in a week right? See, I'm really coaching over 700 people a week through a structure. That is content. That is packaging. So I package it into a Monday call. 
a Tuesday, Thursday rhythm, right? A, a, a coaching session every month, webinars, that's packaging. I'm taking everything that's in this brain and I'm giving it to people in a package. And notice how I'm branding it, marketing it, packaging it up, imaging, videos. That is packaging, okay? And it's a structure that I'm using, okay? And that allows me to coach a lot of people in a, in a, in a given week. So I don't take a lot of one-to-one -one sales calls. I coach people one to a hundred, one to 500, one to a thousand. Okay. And I could only do that through these structures and social media and zoom has allowed us to do that in today's world. Okay. Yeah. That's packaging. Okay. Great question. Anybody else? Okay. Now here's what I want to challenge you on tonight as we ended up. Um, you have something valuable. I believe you have certain gifts, certain talents, certain abilities. It, that is only as valuable as it is used to help other people advance their dream down the field. So if you're the best kept secret in the world, you can't help people. I actually think it is selfish to, to, to just keep it to yourself. You have something valuable, but that talent is only as valuable as you learning how to get it out to the world. Okay. That that's when it really becomes valuable. So how many people can you help on planet earth? How many people can you move from A to B? How many people with your story can you help? And so when people say, well, like, you know, I just don't know if my story's good enough for this. Listen, you can't help anybody if you keep it to yourself, folks. So to me, you got to learn the game. And the game is marketing, promotion, branding, becoming a known quantity in the world. That is part of being a person of interest. Okay. You, some people are the best kept secrets in the world, right? It's like you're incredibly talented, but, but nobody knows it because you don't tell anybody. So, so this is part of being a person of interest. So I really want to encourage you uh, as health coaches, what are you selling? You're selling a better life. You're selling an outcome. You're selling confidence. You're selling energy. Okay. You're not selling product. You got to get, you got to get out of your mind that you're selling a coaching program because you're not what you're selling is an outcome. What you're selling is a better life. But how, I mean, how can you, how can you coach more people or help more people in our business when it is a one-on-one -on -one business using your, you know, your global coaching? I mean, I would love to be able to get 30 people on a day one call, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know? Well, that's the way you need, but that's the way you need to start thinking is, is I want you to start thinking I am, I am in front of a lot. I need to get in front of a lot of people every week. And then I need to push those people to a structure. And a structure is every Monday night, I do a coaching session for everybody in my front line to keep people on board. Every Tuesday, Thursday, I do a short little rhythm to keep you focused. Then I separate out the people who want one-to-one -one and need one-to-one -one time. Because to be honest with you, if you're building a health business, I've got people in my front line in my health business that don't want one-to-one -one time. They're like, look, just make sure I get stuff. Let me do the program. Don't call me. If I need you, I'll call you. Then I got people say, man, I need help. I need structure. I need one-to-one. -one. I need accountability. And then I got people say, I like the group thing. Okay, so I want you to build it so that you could have large numbers of people at one time. So watch how I run my coaching program. Every Monday at 4.30, I do an accountability session. Every Monday. Every Tuesday and Thursday, I do a short little coaching session. Every second Wednesday of the month, I teach a longer version. And that's a, a rhythm I have with people. And I train them, Christi, uh, Christine, in that rhythm. I train them to follow this rhythm every Monday with me, every Tuesday and Thursday, right? Then, then come to boot camps with me. Then stay in a flow with me. And when people get in trouble, Christine, is when they get out of rhythm with me, right? And that's what I tell them. Your heart beats in a rhythm. You're going to get in trouble when you fall off the wagon and get out of this rhythm with me. If you'll stay in this rhythm with me, you're going to get to a better place in your life. Same thing is true of a health business. You get out of a rhythm, you're going to be in trouble, right? You're going to fall off the wagon. You stay in the rhythm, you got accountability, right, Mary Lee? You got structure. We as humans need structure. We need accountability to do this, okay? And that's really, I just can't do it one-to-one -one because of the sheer volume of people I'm coaching. Now, my wife is handling the health business for us, and she does a lot more one-to-one -one work than I do. So we kind of tag team that in our scenario. Okay, great question. Okay, any other questions? This is fun, guys. Helping you find your special, man. How many of y'all think that I went to college for nine years? Right, Sarah? Not one class. 
Not one class in how to find your special in nine years, folks. I spent probably $100,000 on my education. And they didn't even teach me this one very important thing. It's crazy. Okay. So if I could help kids find their special, golly. Uh, my daughter is a big gymnastic person. She loves gymnastics. She flips around the house, like flips everywhere. And I told my wife, I said, man, she's got a talent. She loves it. Let's get her a big trampoline. Let's get her great coaching. Let's get her involved in it because she clearly loves this and she's eight years old. So my job as her dad is to put her in a position for her to prosper and thrive, right? Who knows what she's going to do? She may run her own gymnastics camp when she grows up. She may be an Olympian gymnastic. I don't know. I just know the kid's got some talent in that area. I put her in basketball. I put her in soccer. I put her in horse riding. And she said, daddy, I love gymnastics. So I'm like, oh, she watches it on YouTube. I'm like, that's a talent. That's a talent. Now let's help you develop that talent, right? And then we're talking about what are habits of top gymnasts? How do they eat? How do they practice? How do they perform? What type of habits do they have? Like, I see it. She's eight years old. Like, I already see her talent. So, so how do I nourish that talent and that special in her? Okay, that's very important as a dad. Okay. All right, guys, this has been fun tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for being coachable. I love coaching people that show up, man. I can't tell you, you make my whole day. I'd love to see you in person at some point. If you come to my lodge or if you come spend two days with me, it would mean the world to me to see you eyeball to eyeball. I'm telling you, it will change the game for you, okay? So Eric White on my team can help you. Eric at coachbert.com. If there's anything you need from me or want from me, he's the guy to go to. Uh, Kara can help you on anything marketing or Genie Rocket. And if you want to come to a boot camp or something, virtually person of interest will be the next logical thing for you to go to. Okay. Hey coach, right. I'm grateful you, uh, I'm so grateful you record these because I can't keep up with you. My notes, I just can't keep, uh, my hand doesn't write as fast as you talk. So I need to, I, I have to, I went back and I watch them all. So I appreciate okay. you doing that. Good. I know I talk fast guys. I got a lot to say in a short time to get there. So I apologize. Thank you for doing that, Scotty. You guys have a great night. God bless you.